Hi, so um, last year I did a column about my favourite kind of hero products under £10 and that column was so popular and had so much feedback that I've decided to try and do at least one a year, probably two. Um, because when it comes to um, bargainous products that are really, really great, um, I actually think there's enough to fill loads and loads of columns. They're I mean, obviously I include um, always more affordable options in the main column, but there are some products that are really cheap and so, so, so brilliant that I, I just feel like it's such a good discovery when I come across one that I want to tell you about it. So I think I'll probably make this column quite a regular thing. Now, the worst thing about this column is I can only choose six things. So I want to talk you through some overspill and some brands um, that didn't make it that I really, really like. Um, that didn't make it into the main column. And also, I just wanted to mention um, my sort of theory about cheaper products. Basically, if you're um, looking for affordable, really good quality skincare, go for a brand, A, that has loads of money to spend on research and development. So even if their products don't cost a load of money, if they're a mega, mega, mega brand, they will have spent a fortune researching them. Secondly, it's quite a good idea to go for a company that owns very high-end, very expensive brands, as well as their cheaper brands. And the reason I say that is that very often the very high-tech serum, the very high-tech moisturizer that costs, you know, 80 quid in a department store beauty brand, will have been um, researched and developed in that brand, launched through that brand, and then will gradually trickle down the rest of the company. Um, the technology will trickle down and you'll get a version of that serum at a much lower price point. So to give you an example, it applies to hair care too. So to give you an example, um, everybody went mad for the Kerastase Ultimate Elixir hair oil and I absolutely love it too. I've recommended it in a previous column, adore it. It's made by Kerastase which is L'Oreal and below Kerastase you have um, L'Oreal Professional who do the Mythic Oil and below that you have another division of the professional line and below that you have Elviv which is stocked in boots and is cheap. Now they have just brought out or about to bring out their extraordinary oil it's called and it's basically a version of the Kerastase oil. So if you go for a company that has loads and loads of brands, whatever they've launched to a big kind of high-tech boom at the beginning of the year, several months later you'll get a really strong good version of that at a really low price point as it trickles down the rest of the company. So they'll make a splash with the premium product then they'll they'll use the technology elsewhere. So this is exactly what's happened here with Elvive and this is a fraction of the price, it's like a quarter of the price of the original Kerastas one. The same applies to brands like Lancome, if you love something in Lancome the chances are um, as time goes on, you end up with something very, very similar in the L'Oreal Paris range because it's the same company. Um, it's always sort of a really good thing to keep your eye on the parent brand of something and, and it will come to you at a lower price point in Boots or Superdrug later on and that's a really good entry level. There are some brands that um, specialize in mass market and have loads of money to spend on research and have a really, really strong product line. Um, specifically here, I'm talking about Nivea Visage, which is a fantastic brand. Um, Olay, very, very good brand. This moisturizer, Regenerist, it is not under 10 pounds. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot more than 10 pounds, but it's still significantly less than comparable moisturizers on a department store counter because they have so much, so many resources in terms of scientists, laboratories, ingredients, mass buying and so on, that Olay's an excellent brand, and ditto Nivea. One of my favourite, favourite brands, which is just a chemist brand and really affordable, is Eucerin. I can't bang on about Eucerin enough. It is such a good brand. Their skincare is so sound. Um, really um, unsexy to look at, which is why it's not very expensive. Really kind of boring, medicinal looking packaging, but the product within is really, really effective. I'm a huge fan of their um, hyaluronic serum, which I've banged on about before, which I think is about 16 pounds, but is comparable in my book to serums at sort of 60 pounds, it's excellent. And their treatment lotion for very, very dry skin is very good. Um, Ditto E45, who've just brought out this new product called Silky Radiance, and it's just got kind of light reflectors in, perfect for summer, perfect for your kind of clavicle, shoulders, and so on, when you're wearing little spaghetti tops and that sort of thing. Really lovely product, cheap. E45, really sound. Quite often these chemist brands, these sort of um, boring white package brands, um, 
have really good products within because they're, they're kind of formulated by dermatologists and, they, and they're, they think of kind of quite clinical skin conditions which can be brilliant if you're on the dry side or if you have acne and so on. Um, also Neutrogena. Neutrogena I'm a huge fan of. I've recommended a lot in the column. I think it's an amazing brand. Um, Neutrogena, I think, are amazing at um, problem skin and oily skin. So if that's you or if you have a young person in your life who um, needs to treat acne, this new moisturiser, Pink Grapefruit Oil Free, is, is fab. Um, really effective. I've sent it to some teenagers I know and they're absolutely mad for it. Um, lovely smell, really light, really good on problem skin. But Neutrogena across the board is, is just fab, I think. Um, some old favourites in here that I never miss an opportunity to mention. Batiste dry shampoo is amazing. I've tried every dry shampoo there is. I get sent them all the time. I've never found one as good as Batiste. Um, and it's two quid and they do lots of kind of fun packages and so on. Another range that's new that I really wanted to highlight to you, which very nearly made it into the column, because um, it's so fab, is this new one called Simply Pure by um, Superdrug. It is so, so, so cheap and like properly, properly cheap. And it is specifically designed for dehydrated skin. Now, I really am obsessed with dehydrated skin and how poorly the industry caters for it. And the worst thing about, the worst sector of the industry at catering for dehydrated skin, i.e. skin that's lacking in water rather than oil, is within the cheaper market. I think um, the cheaper brands on the whole don't cater for dehydrated skin because I think rather patronizingly they think that the market doesn't doesn't want it, doesn't know about it. But that's changing with Superdrug. They've brought out this range. They have a hydrating night cream for dehydrated skin. They have um, a serum, which is fab. It's got hyaluronic acid in, which is the, the best ingredient for dehydrated skin. There's um, a cleansing gel, there's a day cream, and it's all so cheap. Um, it's a really, really good range. I'm really excited about it. It's the first range for dehydrated skin that has come at this price point. And, They've really done it well, I think. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. Um, the other um, brand I've been very impressed with when I've been doing these columns are um, Balance Active. And at Balance Active, I'd, I must say, I'd never even heard of them. Um, they're a really um, affordable brand that sells in Sainsbury's, I think, and um, they do these brilliant serums. They do a vitamin C serum and a hyaluronic acid serum for dehydrated skin, and they're seven quid. And honestly, having tried it, this is comparable to a serum that costs 20 or more pounds. Really, really good, very impressed with it. Pop it on after your cleansing and before your moisturizer. Um, God, too much to get through. Um, and then moving on to makeup, there are some brands that I'm mad for that are really affordable. Bourjois, brilliant brand, um, made in the same factory, is a very, very, very prestigious luxury house brand. Um, really good. This new product of theirs, Magic Nail Polish Remover, love it. You poke your finger in, swirl it around, it takes off the nail varnish, just like um, um, Quick Touch does, the one I mentioned in the column. Um, so Bourjois, fab. Um, Top Shop Makeup, I recommend this a lot in the column because it's a brilliant way to try really bold colour and good quality textures at a good price point. I love the packaging of Top Shop Makeup, you get these polka dots and stripes and so on. The lipstick stays on really well, the nail polish comes in fantastic colours. Um, and they just always have a really good kind of trend-led range, as you'd expect from Topshop. I think it's a really great brand. And now also stocked in John Lewis, not just Topshop, so you don't have to kind of go in and hang with the teenagers if that makes you feel uncomfortable. The other range of makeup I like is um, Marks and Spencers. They do a really good basic range and the main product I like by them is this liquid eyeliner that comes in lots of different colours and it's just a glitter liner. You can put it over your normal black pencil or brown pencil and it just kind of gives you a bit of a party look but I think they're $1.99. Fantastic. Another brand which is relatively new that I really love is MUA Makeup Academy that's sold in Superdrug. I think, I mean, they're so, so, so cheap. They do these really good eyeliners um, with a very sharp edge that you can really get a great line on and they're under two pounds. Love that brand. And finally, I wanted to show you these um, lip crayons by number seven that Poppy King, um, who's a really 
I don't know what you'd call Poppy King other than the lipstick guru. She's obsessed with lipstick. She makes lipsticks for Space NK. She has her own range and so on. She's really kind of cool woman. Um, she has been commissioned by Number 7 to do some lip products and she's made these and I think they're amazing. Under £10 again and they're fab. They're um, kind of crayons of colour and they're called Raindrops Lip Crayon because they're really, really moist, um, really hydrating lip colour and really sheer. There are a few different colours but this is the one I'm wearing now and it's called Playing. It comes with its own integrated sharpener which I think is cool so you're not scrabbling around for a dirty old sharpener in the bottom of your makeup bag. And like a chubby moisturising crayon and they're lovely and velvety and they deposit more colour than a balm would, less colour than a lipstick but keep your lips really, really nice and moist and they really last well as well. I'm really impressed with these. I, I've worn all the colours. This is my favourite. Um, they're, they're really selling out though, so you need to move fast um, if you want them, but I really did want to um, highlight them to you. Apparently she's doing more collections for them in the future as well, so look out for those by Boots Number 7. Um, that's kind of it. I could bang on all day, but I should save something for the next column on um, Hero products for under £10. Um, but as you can see, there's loads and loads and loads of choice. And um, yeah, it's just lovely to go to um, Boots and Superdrug and kind of have a look around. And what I love about it is that it's a chance to play and experiment with very minimal kind of cash outlet. Um, and you can really play and experiment, which to me is what beauty should be about. So um, yeah, have fun with those. And let me know in the comments section what your favorite hero products are. And if I haven't tried them, I will. And then they might make them into the next column. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.